that's what the research has been showing for you know the last 30 years in mm -hmm. terms of high sensitivity that it's genetic but then you have your environment and you know maybe there is even some epigenetics there's just so many different pieces to the pie of what else if you're highly sensitive happens and if trauma happens and it's the gene meaning the trait ge the genetic predisposition to have a different kind of brain okay because when you say trait, is that a, there's a, that's the genetic component? Yeah. Okay. That, you know, it's like curly hair. Right. Or um, height or eye right. color or skin okay. color. It's all genetic. Those are all traits. So right. of different kinds. And um, it's also about, I mean, I just ordered um, two different genetic tests for my son because he's, he's it's going to be part of his thesis cool and um i was reading about all the different things they can tell you you know how wow. accurate they are i don't know but they you know the the two that came up for me that are so 23 and me is claiming that they can tell you if you have the gene for misophonia oh which is like driven insane by the sound of chewing yeah you that's how i learned about it through you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now i ask other people about it yeah. And um, I'm like, really? Is it genetic? Because both my parents have it too, actually. And, wow. um, and the other one that, that really resonated with me was um, people who cannot bear cilantro, which I'm one of those people. I have that. Gene. Wow. That's in the 23 and me. Yeah, that's what they say. So I'm, I'm dying to test myself you know, to see those two things, I have them, see if I have a genetic, I mean, I'm sure there's other things that can, you know, be related to it, 